what is the main problem in Guatemala? The lack of access to electricity. The lack of access to lighting. People can't read, people can't work at night. We thought, well, I'm sure we can provide a lighting solution that's cheap enough using solar photovoltaic panels that will solve a lot of these problems. Guatemala is a Mayan land whose ancestors worshiped the sun. But today, Manuel and Juan, two young entrepreneurs born and raised here, aren't worshiping the sun. They're harnessing it, hoping to bring solar energy to the 500,000 homes that the country's electricity grid doesn't reach. They travel all over the country with their invention, a simple battery and lighting kit that gets its charge from the sun. They visit small rural villages like Rio Dulce on the Atlantic coast to show people how the kit works. Most communities that don't have electricity, they get a lot of people coming in there and saying, I'm going to bring light to you. I'm going to do a study to get the grid over here. And they collect $25 or something from each family. And then they just never come back. So these people are very skeptical, but that has worked to our advantage because we are, have been the only ones that are able to go to them and have them see the light and have them see how easy it is. <laughs> we have found that people spend approximately $20 a month on candles, but it's so cheap that every day they spend less than a dollar, so they don't really run up the costs in their head. But after 10 months, they've already spent $200 on candles. Una, dos y tres. With personal money and $50,000 from a U.S. charity, they set up their company Quetzal in 2009 and manufactured the first 150 kits, all of which have been sold. They have since taken hundreds of pre-orders. I'm from Guatemala City, Guatemala. I was born and raised here. I studied at Harvard University in uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts. I studied astrophysics. I co-founded and managed a global macro hedge fund in Greenwich, Connecticut. After a while, I realized that I really wanted to be back home in my country. I, I've been away for a long time. I really missed my family, my people, and I wanted to use all my skills to give back to my country. When Manuel came back, he saw how rural Guatemalans would sometimes struggle to accomplish basic tasks. So their invention also charges cell phones. It may seem like a small feature, but it can be a life changer. These people don't have electricity, so some of them walk for an hour, two hours each way to go charge their phone. We visited ever since 2009 about 50 communities. And what we find is that each community orders between 20 and 50 kits, you know, because the whole family, the whole community wants them. excellent. Kids. Hay kids que solo en esta comunidad. Hay más los que tenemos en, en el Zapotillo. Hay 28 por ahí. Uno de los beneficios que es que vamos a tener men menos contaminantes. No vamos a utilizar una planta generadora de electricidad. Y lo otro es que ya no podemos comprar candelas. No already have all the technology we need to really make a difference. It's all about determination and will. If you really want to make a change in your own life, in your community, in your country, you can do it. Excellent. <laughs> 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 <laughs>